All right. I thought today would be a good day to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar because we are growing a butterfly garden. And this is currently what our caterpillars look like right there. So I will, as I post current books, I, as I post books, I will kind of try to show you how they're growing, but that's what, how they look right now. And we have two, two cups of caterpillars and they both look the same. All right, the very hungry caterpillar. A very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You see the egg? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On thurs Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five, what are those? Oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh boy, you gotta help me read these. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of Salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Oh my goodness, I would too. And the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green, what is that? Leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't a hungry, hungry anymore, and he wasn't a caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside of that for two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful, Butterfly. The end.